Imagine you put in a ton of effort editing a client's video. You send off the invoice and not only do you get paid, but you also get a $700 tip. Nothing beats that feeling. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I work to impress my clients and make them generous with their tips and how you can do it too without a lot of extra effort. This is regardless of what level you're at. In fact, if you're a beginner, I aim for this video to take you to a whole nother level. Hey man, you got time to edit a three minute documentary style video on the ancient pyramids of Giza? Yeah, I got time. Sick, I'm gonna send you an AI generated script and some images that you can work with. Looking forward to seeing what you produce. Right, so I want to knock this guy's socks off and bring more creative flair to this project than he could ever envision. Because first, let me show you what happened when I didn't over deliver on my projects and I just put in the bare minimum effort. You know, just treated it as a paycheck. And now let me show you what happened when I did over deliver and put in as much effort as I possibly could. It was a very exciting day when that happened. You see, my philosophy with every client project or even video that I upload to this channel is to just put in the best possible work that I can and never expect a tip. I just wanna make sure that the client is getting exactly what they need and more. And if you do that consistently from the start of your relationship with your clients, you're gonna build a very good long-term relationship that can lead to bigger opportunities, including tips. And at the very least, if that relationship with the client doesn't work out, you'll still have a great body of work that you can use to attract new clients. So this client has given me a script that I have to record a voiceover for and a few images. Not much, but basically what you get given when you work on Fiverr. So how do I take these two basic building blocks and transform them into something impressive? So the first step in over delivering is transforming that basic script into the best possible voiceover I can achieve. In the heart of the ancient Egyptian desert rise colossal structures that have baffled historians, architects, and conspiracy theorists for centuries. I then look at the script thinking about what visual assets I could use in each section. And so with a few ideas in my head, I still need a lot of help to bring this project to life. And that's where my secret helper comes in. You see, if I was to be placed in a dark room with no tools and asked to create something from scratch, it would be basically impossible. I always find creativity comes from some kind of inspiration. And although I'm optimistic, your creativity is still limited by the tools that you have at your disposal. I can't build a skyscraper unless I have all the bricks, metal and glass to do so. And so relating back to this project, I have all these images, but apart from simple pans and zooms, I don't really know what to do with them. So with the goal of bringing these images to life, I went on a search for assets that could help me do just that. I went onto VideoHive, which is in Bardo's one-stop shop for video assets, and browsed their After Effects templates, looking for something I could use to easily spice up my images. Within seconds, I came across something that blew me away. A tool that would help me turn this flat image into this without having to slave away for hours on end. And something that I could use again and again with this client. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to my new favorite tool for animating images, Volumax. 3D. This After Effects template is perfect for my goal, will save me a ton of time and delivers some impressive results. And Envato has a ton of assets just like this for all of these programs. But now let me show you how I created this effect. I started by watching through the tutorials that were included in the product download, which were super helpful. Then I opened up the project file for landscapes because this one template can make multiple different types of images look 3D. So with the project open, I just double clicked on the photo button and dragged in my first landscape image into that composition. So after we add in the image, we go back to the main composition and click on this setup button. From there on each of these different layers, you create a mask for near objects, far objects and close objects. And this is going to create a depth map, which is basically like a black and white image that gives information to After Effects telling us how far or how close an object is within that image. And these depth maps look pretty cool. And basically it's what this template is going to use to create that 3D illusion. So now once we have that depth map created and we click off the X-ray mode, when we come back into our main composition, we can now adjust the controls and get some really cool animations. PS, if you need to adjust the scale and the slider maxes out, but your image is still too small, you can just drag this number. Now this After Effects file might look a little bit weird and overwhelming to you when you first open it up, 
but it is super easy to animate. Just drag out this work area to the desired duration that you want your animation to be. Set your cursor to the beginning of the time, adjust the scale, position, getting it right for the first frame, then move your cursor to the end of that work area and adjust these properties to get a really cool animation. For me, most of the time, I just went with a simple zoom in with maybe a horizontal or vertical adjust. The parallax is also really, really cool, but it's a little bit slower to render. So I only did this on a few clips, but boy, when I did, it was sick. But this template doesn't stop there because we can get even fancier by setting up our images first. So if we take these images and jump into Photoshop, we can cut out the subject in the photo. So for instance, this guy or this object. Then I use generated fill to make a clean background. Now, when I open up the Volumax smart project file, I can double click on the photo, add in my subject. Then I can go back to the main composition, double click on background, and then add in this background image that's all filled out. And now we have a option to add a really cool parallax effect especially with that horizontal and vertical adjust. You might just need to play around with the scales here to make them line up, but when you do, this looks really cool. But this template continues to blow my mind because you can also add in flares, dust, and particle overlays that are all customizable with just a few clicks. And just with this one template, which I can use on multiple projects with the same client or on the same YouTube channel, I've elevated all of these images from being just something really boring and flat to something with life and energy. So the key is finding unique and interesting ways to elevate your visuals within the videos and your clients are gonna absolutely love it. Oh, and I'll also show you how to create this title screen with the Volumax template and another title template a little bit later on. It is sick. But there's a more pressing issue because I still need to fill in a lot of my video with visuals. And that's where the next tool comes in. So my plan is to fill in these gaps with stock photos, videos, video templates, and overlays, and all of them need to have a license because this is for a client. So to keep the budget in check, because I've already spent a lot of money on this video, I need a one-stop solution. And for me over the past year, that has been Envato Elements. For a monthly or yearly subscription, you get access to unlimited downloads, licenses for everything, and access to a bunch of really cool assets that you can use on both your own channel and your client projects. So the way I approach filling out the visuals is to have my script next to me and then search through Envato Elements, looking for assets that fill in those sections of the script. Now to keep this process organized as I move through these assets, I also create a collection. And this is like a folder within your Envato Elements account. And I just add any asset I think could be useful to the project to this collection. And I just make a new collection for each project I work on. And so with some stock videos and a few photos added in, the video is slightly more fleshed out, but I haven't over delivered yet because this is just the beginning. So let's now elevate the emotional impact by adding in this ancient Egyptian song to score everything. I went for an ethereal, mysterious vibe followed by an X-Files type song to close out the video. And I'm really looking at the tone of the script and what it's talking about to inform the song choice here. But how do we match that James Jarney, Johnny Harris documentary style, transforming stock footage like this into this? One word and a way that I absolutely love to enhance visuals within my videos? overlays. Like look at how just a few extra assets added on top of footage can transform it from this into this. So because for this project, I kind of wanted a found footage kind of look with some texture added to the screen, I began my search by looking for film grain overlays. These will quickly help provide that weathered footage look. I found one which covers the entire screen, which will work great for images and videos. But I also found this other overlay with a border around it, which will give the footage an even older style look. Just change the blend mode to screen and there you go. And another way to enhance all of this is to first add a black and white filter in Premiere Pro, which just sells the effect that much more. And also go and find a stock photo of some grain or some noisy texture, set the blend mode to screen and put it on top of your footage or images if they look too clean. You can see here with this photo, it looks a bit too modern, a bit too smooth. But if I add this texture on top of it, set the blend mode to screen or overlay, it looks way more like old weathered footage. But what I love doing even more than that is adding elements within the scenes to truly elevate them and tell a story. For instance, like this energy beam that's coming out of the pyramid, it was really easy to add in. Again, I just went on Envato Elements, searched up energy beam overlays, found this pack, downloaded it, dragged it into After Effects, masked out the bottom so it matched up with the pyramid, feathered that a little bit, and then all that was left to do was track this to the 3D movement of the pyramid that we did in the Volumax template. So how do you do that? First, get your overlay image or object into position on one of the frames. Then convert it to a 3D layer by clicking this button. And now if we look at this composition, you can see that all of these layers are parented to the null 3D layer. 
which means we can also parent our overlays or objects to to have the same movement tracked through as long as they're 3D objects. And if you want text in your scene, you can also do that too. Alternatively, if you want something to stay in a fixed position and it's within the background, you can also just go to the background layer in that composition and add your overlay to that before you do any of the animation. So that means when you come back to the main composition, do that animation, it's all gonna be in the same spot. This technique came in handy when I had this scene with the spaceship that was in the foreground, it was cut out from the image. So within the 3D composition, it's closer to the camera. So with the overlay in there, you could see that it would kind of drag across the screen. It wouldn't stay in the same spot, but if I put it on the background, it stays stationary, which is exactly what I wanted. Now, continuing on with overlays, there was one scene where I wanted to have the pyramids disappear and have the words mystery appear behind them. And I kind of wanted some sand to blow through as they were disappearing. Now, my original plan was to just get a sand overlay that's blowing on, put some text behind there. But then I found this title and overlays pack, which is perfect for my needs. I just downloaded it, changed the color of the smoke to be a sandy color, and then swapped out the font for a custom one that I downloaded from Envato Elements that gave me an Egyptian vibe. And playing this back, I am super happy with how it turned out. And speaking of title screens, when I showed this one to my girlfriend, she said it looked like a title screen from a Netflix show or a motion picture. And I gotta tell you a secret, it took less than five minutes to make. So let me show you how I did it. So my idea was to have a title where it comes in from dust to form the title in a hallway that was zooming out. So searching for dust titles, I stumbled across this one on page two, which honestly looked better than I envisioned. So I pivoted and picked that instead. I swapped out the font with the Thoth one that I downloaded earlier, and I still had this really cool metallic finish from the template. This is why these are so powerful and so fast to use. I rendered that out and put it to the side. Now onto this hallway effect. So remember when I said that the Volumax template could handle different types of images? Well, this one is one of the coolest. You can take any image of a hallway or a room and make it look like you're going into it or coming out of it as though you're actually walking through it. It is freakishly cool. Again, you just place your image into the photo composition. And then in the setup this time, what we're gonna do is take this wireframe and match it up with the room. So you adjust the back, you adjust the side walls, the ground planes and the roof and then angle it so it fits your image. Once you do that, you can adjust the target, which is essentially the end of the hallway and then adjust the zoom in or out of that hallway using this red box. And you just animate it like the other files before where you drag your playhead to the point you want, adjust the box and you'll have either a zoom in or zoom out. It is one of my favorite things out of this template. So with that now also rendered out, I combined it with the title screen, set that to a screen blend mode, and I have this really cool title screen effect done within a couple of minutes. But even with all of this, there's still some less impressive parts of the video, and I really want to impress my clients every time. In particular, there was two parts of the script that referred to the mainstream narrative that the world presented about the pyramids, and I currently just had stock footage in place there, which was great, don't get me wrong, but wasn't impressive. So I wanted a quick and easy way to elevate that visual interest and still convey that message. So my idea was to use a newspaper template or a book template. So I went onto Envato Elements and searched for newspaper templates under the video templates tab. And within a couple of minutes, there was so many options that I found that looked awesome. But I landed with this one in particular, and then this one. All I had to do was go into After Effects, change out the image, adjust the text, render out just the one scene that I want from all the different options, which there's a bunch of, and now I added it to the project and it just brought that section of the video to life so much more. And then to add some variety, I also found this book cover template, swapped in the National Geographic cover for the one that they had in there. It was so easy to do and now I have the exact shot I need for that section of the video. But on top of those sections within the video, there was one more section that was really bugging me, the ending, because you want to end on a bang and have something that is visually impressive. And my idea was to start off with this pyramid image that would go down through the ground, revealing that hallway that we used with the title card sequence. So it had kind of like a poetic finish, but it was gonna need a little bit of work and a few more assets to really bring this effect to life. So I went onto Envato, grabbed the sand texture, mastered it out so I had a wavy line that I could blend in with the surface over top of this sort of destroyed chamber that I also added in some 3D wooden planks on top of that, as well as some cobweb stock photos set to a screen blend mode. I layered all of these on top of each other and parented them to a null object that I could use to control the entire animation. But it didn't look great yet. That is until I found this one asset that brought it all to life. 
this rock and sand falling overlay. So it's like moving through the ground causes rumbling, which causes these rocks to fall and just sells the whole effect. So now we have some really great visuals. We're done, right? Nah. Because what we need now are epic transitions to match. So I went on Envato and found this transition pack, which would allow me to replicate a slide projector transition. And then to also add more variety to the transitions, I also downloaded a bunch of ink clips and also paint clips that I could use as track mats in Premiere Pro to create these really cool transitions. Seriously, I love this effect. Tutorial is on its way. And with those sweet transitions, we're almost there. But how do we impress our clients even more? by adding even more sensory layers, especially sound effects. So browsing in Vado Elements once more, I grab some transitional sounds, alien ship effects, drones, flames and sparks, projector ambience, and even a rumble and rock falling sound effect for this last scene, which really brought everything together. And with all those sound effects added in, we now have a complete project ready to ship off to the client, and I'm gonna show it to you right now. In the heart of the ancient Egyptian desert rise colossal structures that have baffled historians, architects, and conspiracy theorists for centuries. The Egyptian pyramids, marvels of engineering and architectural prowess, have long been shrouded in mystery. Some say they are mere tombs for pharaohs, while others believe they hold the keys to lost civilizations and extraterrestrial connections. As we delve into the secrets of the Egyptian pyramids, we must question the mainstream narrative. Could it be that there's more to these enigmatic structures than meets the eye? Join us as we explore the conspiracy theories that challenge the conventional wisdom surrounding the pyramids. The official explanation tells us that the pyramids were built as tombs for pharaohs. But how could a civilization with limited technology construct such massive structures with such precision? Some theorists propose that advanced ancient technologies lost to time were utilized. Were the Egyptians really capable of achieving such feats without help from a more advanced civilization or even extraterrestrial beings? Hidden chambers and undiscovered passageways fuel the imagination of those who believe there's more beneath the surface. Rumors persist of secret chambers containing knowledge that could rewrite history. Could the pyramids be repositories of ancient wisdom waiting to be unlocked? One of the most enduring mysteries is the alignment of the pyramids with celestial bodies. How did the ancient Egyptians possess such advanced knowledge of astronomy? Some theorists suggest that the pyramids were designed with a purpose beyond the Earth, serving as markers for extraterrestrial visitors or as energy conduits harnessing the power of the cosmos. Theories abound about the true purpose of the Great Pyramid of Giza. Could it be a powerful machine, generating energy, or transmitting signals across space and time? Some propose that the pyramid's dimensions encode sacred geometry, unlocking the secrets of the universe itself. Skeptics dismiss these ideas as fanciful tales, but as we uncover the inconsistencies in the mainstream narrative, we must consider the possibility that there are forces at play, suppressing the truth about the pyramid's origins and purpose. As we conclude our journey into the secrets of the Egyptian pyramids, we are left with more questions than answers. Are we truly alone in the universe? Or did ancient civilizations hold knowledge that could revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos? The mysteries of the pyramids persist, challenging us to question the narratives presented to us and to seek the truth, hidden beneath the sands of time. So that was a lot of fun to edit and I think it turned out really good. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And although it wasn't a real client project, it's the exact same process that I would go through to really try and level up my video edits to impress my real clients. And using those assets and templates from Envato really helped me level up this edit so much quicker, especially that Volumax 3D template. That thing was incredible. So if you wanna check them out yourself, I'll have links to everything I used within this video in the description down below. Peace and remember, you're only one video away.